Hi, good morning everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Monday the 28th of September with me which pay market analyst at Handtech Markets. European trading sessions got off to another week start with had disappointing data again out of China. Uh, the industrial profits fell by 8.8% and that was uh, a significant decline and um, sentiment has been duly hit on the back of that and uh, certainly markets um, have reacted negatively with uh, the DAX and the FTSE around about a percent lower um, on the day. So um, significant downside pressure once again on these equity markets. Interesting that we're seeing Forex markets basically sort of um, playing around almost around the flat line apart from a little bit of strength actually we're seeing in the yen which is um, a safe haven trade but also sterling as well. Sterling around uh, a key level of support which I will talk about in the charts uh, appraisal in a minute. However, what I will show you first of all is the dollar index, which again s continues to sort of trade around this key 96.3 level, uh, which hasn't, which I still consider to be a big pivot level on this chart, and that um, the dollar testing all these supports at the moment on this chart. Um, interesting that we're also seeing the oil price slightly lower today, um, and uh, that's probably on the back of this Chinese sentiment as well but still we r remain range bound on this oil price. Now in terms of treasury yields nothing too significant here, slight decline on the um, on the 10 year treasury yield as again um, that's a bit of a flight to safety as uh, amid global growth concerns so nothing too significant in terms of moves but um, we are seeing that, that play out more accelerated in the decline on the um, equity markets. So, what have we got to look forward to today? Well, we've actually got um, some uh, quite important data actually today. The um, core PCE, which the which is the Fed's sort of preferred measure of uh, sorry measure of inflation, personal consumption expenditure, and um, what we are what we had last month is the core PCE falling back to 1.2 percent. It's expected to stay around that level today um, for this month. So, no real inflationary pressure all yet um, according to the Fed's own um, preferred measure of, of inflation but we've also got um, loads of Fed members speaking this week and we've got a, a handful speaking today in fact actually we've got Torillo, Dudley, Evans and Williams all speaking today so uh, we could see some uh, interesting comments out of those which could move markets as well so watch out for those Fed speakers or or the out or the um, the print of uh, the news flow from their speech so um, we'll see how that impacts today. But um, my chart of the day, interestingly, is the Kiwi. Um, the Kiwi has been uh, one chart that has had um, just this consistent selling pressure over the months uh, to the downside. Every time you see uh, consolidation, it breaks to the downside, and then that subsequent consolidation starts to become the basis of resistance again. Um, so uh, that's 65 old level throughout July and August broke down to the downside and uh, subsequently seeing the next level of consolidation underneath that. So 65 figure is the overhead resistance there. And you can actually see that uh, above 64, whenever the, the Kiwi gets towards 64, it seems to be failing in the last few weeks. Um, little intraday pushes above that, but never really closing above it. And uh, certainly the pressure is on to the downside. We saw uh, a move close towards 64 figure on Friday. A little poke above today, but again, once again failing and it uh, seems to be turning over again you'd s you'd ask this you'd sort of be looking at these momentum indicators certainly and say well RSI back at 50 that is basically the level it got to in the uh, sort of mid late August which is the point at which it started to fall over again so the, this um, this is the level at which the sellers will be coming starting to come back in again you have got that 45 that back in June so um, it's at a level at which you'd expect selling pressure to start to build once again here we have the hourly chart, and I've got in uh, 64.06 to the pip, and uh, looks like that is a big resistance. Look at that every time it gets towards there. And we've just had this unwinding, really, and the momentum indicators, the hourly RSI not pushing above 70. That would suggest, again, that um, sort of the, uh, the momentum is struggling to continue higher, and uh, it looks like this rally is going to uh, once more be a chance to sell. Um, you've got the uh, reaction high at 64.55, which capped that mid-September high. But uh, certainly, I think around these levels is, is the point at which we're starting. We're going to start to see the next near-term sell signal, uh, and you'll probably see a fall back away again. So, in terms of your supports near-term or on the intraday chart, certainly in near.
initially you'd be looking out for that uh, 63 uh, sort of 45 area but uh, under that is 62.95 which is this reaction low that we saw on Friday uh, and all that protects the key low which comes in at 60 62.30 area so um, that uh, seems to be as though that once this rally does roll over and I believe it will um, you're probably going to start to track back lower again and use that uh, use that downside potential that um, the last couple of days of rally has developed. So I wish you good luck in your trading on the uh, Kiwi dollar today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.